I don't know why everybody goes on and on about Italian coffee. Espresso, cappuccino, macchiato. You can have them. No one makes coffee like the Irish. <laughs> what a great way to start the day. You know, I bet the morning commute in Dublin is just a scream. Hello? Someone there? Oh. You're still in here? I've already been to the station and back. Oh, the fate of the working class. <laughs> I like to linger over my morning coffee. Hmm. Oh, Fancy, am I a jinx? No, there's a change of subject. Uh, you know, I, I just, I can't stop thinking about it. You know, first Fox was murdered, and then I met Pete the kitty cat, and he was killed. I mean, if that is not a jinx, I don't know what is. Don't worry, sweetie. I'm sure it was all a horrible coincidence. You know, maybe it's the grief, but my stress levels are at an all-time high. I think I'm losing my mind. No, you're not. At least, no more so than usual. No, really, Fancy. I, I keep thinking that someone is watching me, even when I'm alone in a room. Okay, well then call your therapist, Esme, and let him straighten you out. Okay, that is not like you. What's wrong? You're upset again? What now? Something truly bizarre happened was at the station, and Luis was on the computer. He was acting oddly, furtive, almost. Then, I saw him steal a police file when he left. Oh, my, my. Oh, yeah, it gets worse. So when I went on the computer, I tried to pull up Spike's criminal records. Mm -hmm. They've been erased. Totally deleted. Luis must have done it. Dudley Do-Right deleted data? No, I don't. Buy it? Why would Louise do something like that? I don't know, Esme, but I'm scared. Louise must be involved in something dangerous. Ugh, it is so frustrating. I don't know what's going on with Louise. He's always so upfront with me about everything, and then I find out he's cleared out Spike's records? It makes no sense. Uh, that's why you should never let a man out of the bedroom. Everything gets so confusing. Tie them down and never let them go. That's what I always say. Um, do you want some coffee? No, no thanks. thought, why don't we go to the book cafe and get some more coffee there? Huh? Your treat. <laughs> they, they have a liquor license, don't they? Wait, 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 wait. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Things aren't always what they seem. What? What are you talking about? That's the man I love, hugging Aunt Sheridan. Well, maybe he's just being kind to the elderly. You know how needy they get. You know, he tells me he loves me every chance he gets. And every time I turn around, he's in her arms. He keeps lying to me, Esme. Uh, well, give him a chance to tell you the truth. You expect me to go break up that love scene? No, I think not. I've played the angry third wheel too many times. Okay, am I the only one that realizes we are living in an age of technology? Why don't you call him? He will see your number come up on his phone, and then, if he answers, see what he has to say. I mean, who knows? He might tell you the truth. You know, every now and then, you are extremely bright. Hmm. Well, I went to 15 boarding schools. Something must have rubbed off. <laughs> Fancy. At least don't. Hey, Fancy. Hey, Luis. What's going on? Where are you? Uh, 
You rushed out of the station so quickly. What's going on, lover? Where are you? Uh... Don't tell Fancy anything. We have to be available for what Spike wants us to do. Fancy, can you hold on a second? I hate this. I hate lying to her. I'm sorry, but remember, you said no one or nothing would get in the way of finding Marty. Yeah. Hey, I'm back. Um, yeah, I'm just down on the street. Tracking down some leads. On the street? Uh, where, exactly? Um, down by the war. Well, you must be, um, working on that big case you couldn't talk about. Yeah, 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 I am. It's huge. Um, look, you know what? When I get back, we're gonna have a long talk about everything, and you're gonna understand, okay? I know you will. Yeah, I hope so, Louise. Oh, well, um, I better let you go. I'll talk to you later. You lied to me, Esme. You lied to me again. Oh, God, men are pigs. Ugh. I hate lying to the woman I love. I'm sorry, but you did the right thing. Lying to Fancy was the right thing to we, do. Lying is never the right thing, especially to her. I'm calling her back. I'm going to tell her the truth about everything. No. No. Sheridan, she is such a crane. You know, you know how they are. Vicious, malicious, downright evil. Hey, I'm a crane, and so is my brother, Fox. Oh, right. Well, what I meant to say was that some of them take after your grandfather, and she is one. If anything is going on, you can bet she's manipulating the situation. You know, you can't let her win, fans. You cannot let her take Louise away from you. Oh, she's already won, Esme. Louise is with her lying to me. Oh, oh, he's making another phone call. Well, if my phone doesn't ring in about two seconds, we'll both know that I lost Luis forever. Ring. Just, would, would, would you stop it? Stop it. Stop it. Phone. I need to tell Fancy the truth. Stop what it, is Sheridan. Dangerous. <clears throat> and to break well. this moment up, well, I got the info on Marty. There. You see? Now, just wait. When you can make your phone call. Okay, good. Tell me, where is he? Where the hell is my son? Well, I guess that's it. No ringy dingies. Luis wasn't calling me. I guess it doesn't bother him to lie to me for her. Oh, God, you don't know that. You just told me it was all about Aunt Sheridan, and you know what? You're right. It has to be. It is over, Esme. Yet again, another man has lied to me. Oh, so what? All men are liars. Huh. All women are liars, too. Not me. <laughs> that is a lie, Fancy Crane. Come on, how many lies have you told to get us out of scrapes? What? <clears throat> That's different. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> and, uh, come on, can you imagine what a mess the world would be if people told the truth all the time? You, you don't understand. Oh, Pooh, of course I do. You are all mopey because you hit a bump on the road to love. Well, I would hate to see you give up on love, fans. One of us should be happy. First Fox was murdered. Oh, God, I don't want to get into all of that again. But the point is, once the dark despair of the grieving process lifted, God gave me hope. He led me to Pete. Esme, that was the same night. Well... God works fast. You know, I don't know. I mean, no one can ever replace Fox, but Pete, hmm, could have been the real deal. We had an incredible bond. You picked up a hottie for a one-night stand. Oh, shame on you. There is no time limit on love. And Pete was special. <sighs> Thank God <laughs> I have so many warm memories to treasure. You know, the way he loved catnip. The way he liked to have his belly rubbed. <laughs> the way he filled out that cat suit. <clears throat> Believe me, that was one kitty that had not been fixed. <laughs> Esme, can we talk about me for a change? Uh, I'm sorry, you mean as usual? Meow, meow. My life is in ruins, too. Oh, come on, since when has Fancy Crane been a quitter? What? Well, 
this whining and moping, poor, poor fancy. You know, you have been many things in your life, but never a bore. I beg your pardon. Well, you should. You know, any minute now, you're going to get up and go over to that freezery thing and pull out a big vat of ice cream. And that'll have been a productive day. Weeping over your lost love, eating a gallon of cherry vanilla, and sitting around watching your butt get bigger and bigger. You know, if it were me, at least I would go for the bourbon. It's fat free. Well, what, what else am I supposed to do? Fight for him, fancy. If you want Luis, you are going to have to steal him back from your evil Aunt Sheridan. And if you're going to do that, you have to figure out exactly what is going on. I do want Luis back, but I don't understand. Why is he doing this? Well, I don't know, fans. That's what you have to find out. Well, what do I do next? Ugh, God, must I do everything for this girl? She is a trained cop, you know. Okay, well, if it was me, I'd follow the bastard. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I just, I just keep getting this weird sense that someone is watching me. Did you remember to take your medication this morning? Oh, I did. Believe me, if I did not, it would not be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you're right. I will follow Luis. Good. You know, maybe he's just planning some sort of romantic surprise. Oh, well, yeah. With Sheridan, that'll be the day. Oh. Anyway, I better go. Will you be all right? Of course. Um, Esme, are you sure you're not having a, an another reaction to your medication? Or... Oh, no. Um, I, I did everything I normally do. I took my pills and then washed it down with a little Irish coffee. Okay, if you're sure. Bye. Okay, good luck. Oh, God, I swear someone is watching me. Well, I'm uh, going to go outside now and uh, throw some pebbles at my niece Vicky's window. Sweet girl, time for her to rise and shine. Someone was here. Someone is watching me. Oh, God.